welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a pregnancy update um, for week 23. Can you guys see? Okay, much better. Week number 23, I am starting my six month. The baby is the size of a grapefruit. My app says that the baby ranges from 11 to 12 inches, from one pound to one pound and a half at this point. So I will be talking about how I've been feeling, cravings, and how the baby is doing. Um, how I've been feeling. I've been exhausted like crazy. Um, I just want to sleep all day. I could take like 20 naps and I will be still tired. And I'm not even kidding. I could take a lot of naps. Um, heartburn through the roof. Um, maybe it doesn't help that I tend to eat a lot at night. Well, at least that's what my doctor said when I told him. Um, the baby is making me always hungry. Um, I've been feeling a lot of Braxton Hicks. And uh, since week 16 or something like that, or 14 actually, and contractions since week 16, um, I've been feeling contractions. It's gotten to the point that I've ended up in labor and delivery. Since I turned 23 weeks, I think three times already. So like once a week, basically, <laughs> which is kind of crazy and insane to me. But even before that, I would go to um, urgent care with the contractions. And there was a night that they were two minutes apart. So that was kind of scary. Uh, but they gave me the shot, the tribolitaline or something like that. The one that makes you all jiggery. There's, uh, they put it in your arm. It makes your heart rate slow down. No raised up and it makes you shaky but it helps if you are not in real labor or not in active labor um also what i've been uh having and it's much worse this pregnancy is restless leg syndrome um i had it with all the girls um but not as bad and my varicose i've been getting a varicose veins really bad on my right leg May because I tend to like walk more on that leg because the other one I don't know I it, it gets swollen like my veins on my leg but not that bad as this one so um what's it called it it's annoying at night like I have to shower in order with warm water in order to relax my body to be able to like get a good sleep um I can't see my feet <laughs> I haven't been able to see my feet for now, well, I want to say, um, two weeks, like completely. <laughs> All I see is belly button and belly. Um, it's hard to get up, um, not only from the bed, from the couch, from get out of the car. I feel like a freaking walrus, like I'm not even joking, like I'm to the point that I think I need a freaking tow truck to lift me. Okay, I'm exaggerating on that one, but it's a struggle every day to get up. Like, I have to, like, if I'm laying on my left side and I have to get out of bed, it's normally I have to switch to my right side. So I have to, like, move from my left side to my back to my right. Get up. Like, it's a process. It takes me, like, five minutes to just get up and be able to walk. <laughs> What's it called? Um, I have the penguin walk, full effect. I'm wobbling up and down everywhere. I've gained seven pounds so far. Yay! So if you didn't know, I started at 103 when I got pregnant, 104. Um, I The first trimester, I was sicker than Ever. with the girls I would get sick but not to this point and I don't know why the lighting is doing this hopefully we could see me in there um, so with the girls I would get nauseous but this time it was like really bad because I even started my second trimester being sick I went down to 98 pounds at 14 ish weeks and I'm at 105 right now so I've gained seven pounds which is amazing because I'm 23, so nine weeks, I've gained almost a pound a week. So that's pretty good. And the doctors are really happy. They're not even concerned. 
um, I've already visited the hospital, like I said, several times. Sorry, it's because I'm reading what I wrote, so it's easier for me to remember. I started my progesterone shot at 16 weeks, and I've been having, like, this weird reaction. The first time, it was, like, around six, no, 18 weeks, and I felt weird, but, you know, I was like, oh, it's just normal, you know, because I haven't had it for three years or whatever, you know. And then this week when I got it, my leg felt numb um, and it was hard to walk. My shoulder was hurting. My heart felt heavy. I felt like I was lifting a grandma bag, basically, you know, like grandma's bag. It was like 200 pounds, whatever. And so I went to ER and they said it was due to stress because I also had a headache. So they said that I was causing myself to feel sicker it was my anxiety getting the best of me um it, over my leg basically i was working myself up but everything's fine they said that it, they could have hit my like like near the nerve or the fluid it was too near to the nerve that was pushing it maybe my sciatic nerve um or they probably like pinched my nerve or something i don't know i don't know but kind of weird i know um so baby is head down I don't know how I feel about that at this point because I'm only 23 weeks. I don't know if that's a sign that the baby's going to come earlier. I deliver my kids 36 weeks. So I don't know. We will see, I guess, if that has anything to do with it or if it's doctors didn't seem concerned. So maybe I'm just working myself up too much and I don't know if you could see me. The camera's not focusing. Okay. So then... He is so low. He's head down. He's low. When he gets the hiccups, it feels really uncomfortable. And what's it called? It feels like he's going to slip out. Like, just, hey there, mom. Hi. Kind of thing, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. He is measuring two days ahead from our 20-week scan. Um, and... At 13 weeks, I get the genetic testing early done because in my family, we do have Down syndrome, both sides. So I always just want to be more informed if there's something wrong with my baby. So we had a scare. The The neck part was uh, thicker. It was, it's supposed to be at a, under three and it was at six. So it was double of what it was supposed to. Um, but thankfully, it was, uh, they did more testing everything came back good we were gonna do an amio but since the blood test came back normal like uh i decided to not do it unless like we saw something on the 20th week scan then we would go for it but everything looked good so we are right now just high risk for the reason of me going into preterm labor uh cravings i've been craving apple carrot juice it's my favorite um still craving salties salty things animal crackers still can eat beef i cannot stand it i cannot cook it if i cook it i won't touch it easy as that i rather eat something else like i'll give it to the kids to eric but for me no bueno no gracias um i cannot stand beef i could eat chicken shrimp shrimp as long as it doesn't have a smell or if the place is ventilated correctly, I could eat it or I could be okay. But if not, and there's a strong smell, I will be gagging the whole time. But I've been pretty good. I'd rather eat shrimp over beef. So I always joke with Eric saying, maybe our son will be vegetarian. Because <laughs> he loves to eat steak and things like that. So, you know, I like to tease him with that. But I wanted to show you guys really, really quick. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes, but <laughs> it's really so long. So I'm going to show you. That is my um, bumps throughout all for pregnancy. That's Annabelle, Aliyah, Ariella, and Raphael. With the three girls, that's 27 weeks, and I am barely 23 weeks on that one. So... I'm most definitely a lot bigger than I was with the girls. And let me show you my bump. So that's 
side view, front view, other side. So I'm most definitely getting big, definitely showing. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I want to know feedback from you guys. If you like this kind of videos, um, hit the like button and comment below. And how often do you want me to do it? You know, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day. Bye.